Demand on your care, medication management for older adults. Dietary restriction when taking medication. Is it true that only Chinese medicine requires dietary restriction, but Western medicine doesn't? In fact, taking Western medicine may require dietary restriction because some medicines may interact with certain food. These interactions can affect how the medication is absorbed in the intestines, how it's metabolized, and even directly impact its effectiveness. Such interactions may reduce the drug effectiveness and affect the condition and disease. They may also hinder the drug metabolism, thereby increasing the duration of the drug action in the body and the risk of side effects. For example, the absorption of some medication will be affected by taking milk and calcium at the same time, including the antibiotics ciprofloxacin, tetracycline, and thyroxine. Therefore, these medications need to be taken two to four hours apart from calcium. Moreover, some medications may have their metabolism slowed down by certain foods, potentially leading to a prolonged drug action in the body, thereby increasing the drug efficacy and increasing the risk of side effects. For instance, grapefruit can inhibit the activity of liver enzymes responsible for drug metabolism. Consequently, certain medications, such as antihyperlipidemia agent simvastatin, antihypertensive drug nifedipine, and immunosuppressive drug cyclosporin, should not be consumed with grapefruit or grapefruit juice. The effectiveness of some medications may be weakened by certain ingredients in food. For instance, the anticoagulant effect of warfarin can be weakened by foods rich in vitamin K, like spinach, broccoli, animal liver, and cod liver oil. This could increase the risk of vascular embolism, which is very dangerous. Therefore, patients taking warfarin should not alter their dietary habits, especially regarding vitamin K intake, to avoid affecting the drug efficacy. If older adults and caregivers have any questions about dietary restrictions related to the medication, please consult healthcare professionals and pharmacists. Please visit our website, Facebook and YouTube channel for more information on elder care. Before you leave, remember to like and subscribe our channel.